Well, if you're like me, one of the biggest issues you have in working in a basement or garage workshop is running out of space. But we had this other room and it was formed up, I think, for like a sauna because it was all formed up and there was walls and there's a drain in it. Now, we don't need a sauna room. Um, and I was originally going to tear down, there were, there were studs put in here, and I was originally going to tear them down. And then I realized 16 inch on center studs means that a 13 inch wide milk crate fits perfectly in there. And I have a bunch of milk crates, don't ask where I got them, but uh, I have a bunch of milk crates and they fit perfect. So I made some simple shelves. Now I had some different ideas of how I was going to uh, build the shelves. Originally I was going to have a, uh, a vertical board out here and ledgers or I was going to run a board all the way across and uh, put the shelves on that. But then I realized if I just ripped a 2x4 in half let me show you. If I just ripped a 2x4 in half and cut it 8 or 10 inches long or whatever, two screws right into the, the stud on either side and just take a piece of OSB. It couldn't be more simple. Now these milk crates aren't that heavy. I have a couple heavy ones. I have them on the bottom sitting on the ground. But this holds it up no problem. They fit perfectly. And when I first did this, I wasn't even sure if I was going to use it or like it. And I only built one row. I think I started with this row here. And I just built that. And I'm like, wow, that fits perfectly. Then I built another row. And I did a few more. And then I went up to the top. So I didn't have any intentions of building this whole room uh, the way I did. I started with one or two rows. And then I realized, hey, I have all these milk crates. I could fill this whole wall up. And again, I could have made these shelves more complex with... Uh, boards coming off or a board running the full width but I just felt this way was simple and easy I could just cut a whole bunch of these boards screw them in and be done I wouldn't have to mount anything on the front or back or cantilever or any, anything to the ground this is just simple and it works eventually I'm gonna make plates I have all these pieces of whiteboard I cut and I'm gonna uh, mount them on the front and label them kind of like how I have a uh, I already have one labeled electrical, so I'll be able to come in here and hopefully find everything I need. And after I built it, I was kind of reminded back uh, the old Mythbusters show where they had that wall of big totes and everything labeled. It would be nice to come in here and say, okay, wheels, right here. Here's all my wheels. Or come in here, again, I have my electrical. So it would be nice to organize everything, be able to find it. That's the biggest thing I found when we moved to a new house is how many times I looked in something and said, oh, I didn't even know I have this. Oh, I forgot I even had this. We had parts for a toilet. I went out and bought parts for a toilet and realized I already had it. I just couldn't find it. So being able to know what you have and being able to find it is huge. Let me show you up closer how I built them, though. So here's a closer look at the shelves themselves. Now, one thing to note is these studs were not right up against the wall. I had a lot of room in the back which allowed me to center the boards on the middle. If, if these boards were right up against the back, as like these were, I had to do shelves that uh, supports that stick out, kind of cantilevered shelves that held it up. But because these studs were off the wall this distance, I could center that on there and it was more balanced for when I put the milk crate on, it's very solid and stable. If I had to have these sticking out like this, I would have had to come up with a system more like this, where I cut triangles and they were cantilevered out to support the shelves. But I was able to fit quite a few on here. Some of these are different height because there's a, a PVC plumbing pipe in the back here that I had to cut out and make room for. I also have my uh, reverse osmosis water filter in there and I have all the filters so these are all the filters for that in there more filters filters but I've been able to fit quite a few things in this little room as long as they fit in the milk crates I can fit them in here and I could see okay here's all my electrical stuff okay here's you know these will be the hoses I'll be able to label everything find everything I need because as you can see right now it's a complete mess okay here's all the stains and rags old motors I kept the heavy stuff on the bottom 
So I know this isn't, it's kind of a specific thing. You're not just going to have a stud wall anywhere, um, just like mine. But I just found, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. How am I going to store all this stuff? And then I realized, hey, wait, all the milk crates I have fit perfectly in here. Just rip a two by four and a half, put some particle board on it, and you have perfect shelving and storage for all this stuff. A room that's packed full of stuff. And it's not that big of a room. It's only six foot wide, but... Um, I'm able to keep a lot of stuff in here at and it's not packed away It's not like on this shelf here. You know, I can't really even see what's back here I can't find it. I have to look for it here. Everything's out in the open. I can find it immediately. Okay, here's Fittings and cables and scrap wood and everything is ready and I can get it immediately and be able to see it And that's half the battle is being able to remember what you have and get to it when you need it I hope it helps like I said organization for me is a huge deal and especially with this limited space that I have. So I uh, hope it helps. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.